hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this 12th video of depreciation chapter we are going to understand this depletion method of depreciation and we are also going to solve a problem on this okay so let's just start the video now see here we have the concept of depletion method which is really simple and straightforward the first thing is that this method is applied in those companies which extract natural resources like oil natural gas metals coal stones etc okay this method is applied in those companies which extract natural resources now how do they extract natural resources of course you all know there has to be a proper source from which they can extract natural resources isn't it for example if you're talking about an oil company and how do they extract oil of course they will have technology machines and everything scientists and everyone yeah but how do they do that what's the source the source would be the wells which they dig right they do drilling in the ground and then they extract the oil isn't it that's what they do so if you see from the accounting perspective oil is meant for resale so that's their inventory stock isn't it yes and the well will be their asset yes so you have to charge the depreciation on those wells let's say we are talking about a coal company right so coal for that company is the item that is meant for resale so coal is what the main product their inventory whereas the mines from which they extract the coal yeah the coal mine is what it's their asset and they have to charge the depreciation on that isn't it yes let's say we're talking about a company which is dealing in stones right what do you mean by stones marble granite limestone yeah how do they, they get that they get that by digging the pits yeah and extracting the stones from there isn't it yeah they're extracted from quarries yes so this is what happens okay these are the inventory and you do not charge depreciation on the inventory whereas these are the asset you have to charge depreciation on these assets and these assets are also called as wasting assets why are they called as wasting assets because because see what happens is as you go on using them as you go on extracting the oil from wells as you go on extracting the coal from coal mines or as you go on extracting the stone the granite from the quarries for example what happens the value of these assets decreases okay that is why they are also called as wasting assets as you go on using them they get depleted they get wasted okay and this is the case with most of the assets even your vehicles cars and all yeah as you go on using your car what happens as you put miles on it what happens it gets wasted right the value of the asset reduces okay right and that is why the name of this method is like this depletion method okay as you go on extracting from these natural resources what will happen the resources will get depleted so that is why we have the name over here as depletion method is that clear okay so that's the basic concept now let's understand some technical things about this depletion method see the first thing is that technically this depletion method here what we do is the useful life of the asset now what asset this asset wells mines queries yeah the useful life of well mines queries all these things will be in form of what it will be in form of units okay how many units can be extracted from these things these sources these assets yeah let's say we are talking about oil company so how many barrels of oil we can extract from this well how many tons of coal we can extract from this coal mine how many tons of granite or whatever it is how many uh, square feet of granite or something can be extracted from this quarry okay like that that's how uh, you know it will be expressed fine in production units method also we saw that useful life was in units but there we said there we said you know how many number of units we can produce but in depletion method is not like that we do, we are not producing anything we are not producing anything we cannot produce oil we just extract the oil yeah isn't it that's the thing okay so depletion method useful life is in form of units it can be in tons in barrels if you're talking about oil it can be in liters it can be in form of gallons okay different different units can be there okay fine so now how do we do the calculation of uh, depreciation in this depletion method see it's the same way what you have seen in the machine hour method or production units method see what do we do is see depreciation is equal to 
depreciable amount okay what is depreciable amount it is the maximum depreciation which you can charge in the entire life of the asset how do you calculate that cost minus scrap value yeah cost minus residual value also you can say that's how you will get the depreciable amount the net cost of the asset divide that by total units expected to be extracted in the beginning what will happen is see uh, let's just say you have got a mine okay so in the beginning with the scientists and all they will estimate yeah they, with the technology and everything they will estimate how much you know tons of coal are there in this mine right and in case of oil also it's like that they will estimate in the beginning only you know how many barrels of oils are there in this ground in this well okay that's how it will be so what you have to do you have to take a depreciable amount divide by the total units expected to be extracted when you do that you will get you know depreciation per unit and then you have to multiply that with the actual units extracted during the year let's take an example to understand it's really simple let's just say for example you know we have a coal mine in that coal mine let's say you know the scientists have expected that uh, 50,000 tons are there how much 50,000 tons okay so let's say the cost of that coal mine was let's say uh, 8 lakhs okay 8 lakh taking taking simple example okay 8 lakh and divide by 50,000 right so what is this this is a depreciable amount sorry I said the cost right so let's calculate the depreciable amount 8 lakh minus let's just say you know 1 lakh is the uh, scrap value right so that's equal to 7 lakh 7 lakh is the depreciable amount divide that by the total total units expected to be extracted so divide by 50,000 50,000 is the total tons of coal that are estimated to be extracted that's their useful life so 14 14 is the depreciation per unit to be extracted okay so multiply this with the actual units extracted during the year let's say for example in this year we have extracted 5000 tons okay in this current year we have extracted 5000 tons so into 5000 okay so that's equal to 70,000 so 70,000 is the depreciation for the current year okay this is how you have to do the calculation it's really simple and straightforward as we go on extracting the natural resources yeah what will happen those uh, wells mines or quarries the value of those will get reduced it will be wasted it will be depleted and that's how we are charging the depreciation okay you can also think it like this see you are taking a depreciable amount and you're taking how much you have extracted divide by how much total was there from the beginning right the you know the ratio of that you have to take and just multiply okay so let's just see one problem uh, illustration 6 and you will see how we have to do it. it's really simple and straightforward the accounting treatment and everything is same only it's just that little bit calculation is different okay now the calculation of the last three methods we saw now machine hour production units and depletion method the calculation was same only here it was based on hours here on units how many units we can produce here how many units we can extract that's the only difference right so now let's just move on to the problem see here we have our 13 problem ICI illustration 6 depletion method mrs. Surya and company took lease of a query on 1st January 2017 for 1 crore okay 100 lakhs or you can say 10 million as per technical estimate the total quantity of mineral deposit is 2 lakh tons okay so here you have got two information the first is the cost of that query and the second thing is the estimated quantity that we can extract from that query so that will be the useful life of that query okay useful life of that query depreciation was charged on the basis of depletion method okay extraction pattern is given in the following table right so year 2017 they have extracted 2000 tons year 2018 they have extracted 10,000 tons 2019 they have extracted 15,000 tons simple question let's understand how we have to do it and what's the requirement show the query lease account that means the asset account they took a lease of query now so this is the asset account and depreciation account for each year from 2017 to 2019 three years are there so three depreciations we have to calculate see it's really simple and straightforward just apply the formula okay what's the formula first you need the depreciable amount cost minus residual value now here there is no residual value 
so you know 1 crore minus 0 is 1 crore only so that will be the depreciable amount entire 1 crore okay so depreciable amount divide by total units expected to be extracted how much is that 2 lakh tons that's the total capacity that is there in that uh, you know in that query okay at an estimate really it's not absolute it's just an estimate so see 1 crore 1 crore divide by 2 lakhs so that's equal to 50. This is the depreciation per unit to be extracted. Depreciation per unit, 50. So just multiply this 50 with 2000 tons, you will get the depreciation for 2017. Just multiply this 50 with 10,000 tons, you will get the depreciation for 2018. Just multiply this 50 with 2019, uh, you know, the output 15,000 tons, you will get the depreciation for 2019. Okay, that's how you have to go about it. It's really simple. See here, I've already done this. Uh, you know, 1 crore divided by 2 lakh. That's 50. 50 into 2,000. 1 lakh. Okay, let's see. 50 into 1 lakh. 50 into, sorry, 2,000. That's equal to 1 lakh. Okay, so similarly, you just have to multiply 50 into 10,000. That's 5 lakh. 50 into 15,000. That's equal to 7 lakh. 50,000. Okay, so these are the depreciation uh, of 2017, 18, and 19. Is that clear? And then what you have to do the same way you have to prepare the depreciation account just the calculation was a bit different i've told you now the accounting treatment is completely seen let's see how will be the accounting treatment the same way nothing else see this is query lease account what is this this is the asset account okay so what will happen we have you know took a lease on first january 2017 for one crore we have paid that so that's our cost so query lease account is increasing asset is increasing because of the money you paid through bank to bank account one crore yes right and this happened on first january in the beginning of the year and then you have to charge the depreciation asset is decreasing because of depreciation how much depreciation in the first year in 2017 one lakh right so buy depreciation one lakh and then what do you do one crore one crore on both the side just balance the account okay so one crore minus one lakh that's equal to 99 lakhs so that's the closing balance this closing balance will be the opening balance 99 lakhs for january 2018 and then again you have to charge the depreciation at the end of the year december 31st by depreciation how much five lakh okay five lakh simple and then 99 on both the sides 99 minus 5 that's equal to 94 lakhs 94 lakhs is the closing balance on december 31st this will become the opening balance in the next year january 1st 94 lakhs and then you have to charge the depreciation at the year end because nothing else is happening it's just one uh, query right by depreciation account 7 lakh 50 how 7 lakh 50 we have just calculated it's really simple 7 lakh 50 yes and then december 31st the closing balance by balance c by d how did we get that 94 on both the sides 94 minus 7 lakh 50 let's see 94 minus 7 lakh 50 that's equal to 86 lakh 50 thousand 86 lakh 50 thousand see 86 lakh 50 thousand clear simple and straightforward and then they also asked for depreciation account so see how you'll prepare depreciation account just cross posting depreciation 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 is there right december 31st 2017 18 same date 19 same date right year and only now so it's on the credit side just do cross posting on the debit side two carry lease two carry lease two carry lease account yeah one lakh five lakh seven lakh fifty okay and then what will happen each year depreciation account is closed whatever balance is there that will go to profit and loss you all know by profit and loss account one lakh by profit and loss account five lakh by profit and loss account seven lakh fifty thousand okay so this is how you have to do it it's really simple and straightforward it's just that you have to understand the formula once you understand the formula everything is easy what's the formula just see once again depreciable amount divided by total units to be extracted okay the total capacity the total useful life then you just have to multiply with the actual units extracted during the year just by dividing these two you will get the depreciation per unit to be extracted and then just multiply that with the actual units extracted during the year or during an accounting period you can say fine you will get the depreciation of that accounting period that's how you calculate depreciation in depletion method simple and straightforward okay right so that's it for this video i hope you have understood it's really simple and straightforward okay so yeah that's it bye